Don't go away. We got one more uh, presentation available by Central Reach, elevating each student's unique path. And that's, <coughs> sorry, that's Kara. Kara, I'm going to just turn it over to you and uh, let's do it. Go for it. Thank you so much for being here. Perfect. Thanks, David. Well, thank you to all of you who are here. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and get this PowerPoint started, but maybe not from that screen. All right, here we go. Uh, so we're going to be talking about elevating each student's unique path today. My name is Kara Soto. I am a solutions consultant and a BCBA at Central Reach. Um, we're going to be doing a live demo today of three different products. It's all part of our special education suite of products at Central Reach. So we're going to start with assessments. And we're also going to walk you through Lifted, which is our data collection and progress monitoring platform, as well as show you a little bit about Avail, which helps you create tools and resources for your learners. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and start with assessment. So today we're going to be following Charlie's journey. Uh, now, Charlie might be a new student to uh, your school. He might also just be a new student in your classroom. Uh, but we know as educators that the first thing we need to do is really assess where skills are so that we know what kind of goals to work on. Uh, so through our assessment platform, you'll have access to the ABLES and AFOLES assessments. Uh, and that's the platform I'm in right now. So you'll see here on the left hand side, these are all of the students I have access to. And on the right hand side, this just shows you some open assessments I'm currently working on. So you'll see here's Charlie. We've already got him in the system. So we'll go into his profile page. Uh, now, one thing that you can do in the platform is have multiple assessors. Uh, so if maybe you as one teacher or staff member is going to start the assessment, but you have other people that want to work on it with you, uh, certainly we can share Charlie as a learner. You also have the ability to share uh, the learner access or the, I'm sorry, the assessor access with Charlie's parents. Uh, so if you want to get some information from them as far as how he does on some of these skills at home, you can do that as well. Now you'll see over here on the right hand side, we already have a protocol that we're testing for Charlie. Uh, but inside this platform, you have access to both the ABLES and AFOLS assessments. Now, if I'm saying those words and you're wondering what are those things mean, uh, the ABLES is the assessment of basic language and learning skills. That's an assessment that we typically use with our younger learners. This really does focus on language skills, social skills, some of those early developer skills. Um, as students start to outgrow that assessment, they can flow right into the AFOLS. Now, the AFOLS is the assessment of functional living skills. And you'll see here for the AFOLS, there's several different protocols. So depending on where your learner needs to focus, you might be working on basic living skills. Um, maybe they are getting toward that transition age and we wanna start focusing on community participation skills or vocational skills. Maybe independent living is something that's gonna be important to them. So we can choose which protocol is applicable to each learner. And you'll see for Charlie, we've chosen to start with this community participation skill protocol. So when we're ready to assess, We'll jump in and start scoring. I'll show you two different ways that you can score inside the assessment. This first page, you'll see I'm inside the community participation skills uh, protocol. And then here on the left-hand side are the different categories that I'm going to assess. So right now we're working through basic mobility, but we also have community knowledge, shopping, eating in public, using money. And the way the assessment works is you'll see here on the screen, there's an item that we're going to test. So in this example, we're going to see if Charlie can um, carry correct information, a credit card, a phone when he's in the community. And then we have our scoring criteria here. So if Charlie's not able to do that at all, we would score him at a zero. If he's able to do that with some prompting, we could score him at a one. And if he's completely proficient with that skill, we could score him at a two. Uh, so let's say that Charlie scores a one in that category. You'll see down here in the bottom right-hand corner, it's auto-saving that information as I score. And now I can move on to the next skill that I want to assess. You also have this grid scoring ability. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the ABLES and AFOLS, this grid is the output that you get at the end of the assessment. Uh, so essentially what you see are each one of those categories within the protocol. And for each of those categories, any box that's shaded or colored in is a skill that Charlie can demonstrate. Uh, now, anything that's not shaded in means that's a skill that he's missing. Uh, so very quickly, we get a nice visual analysis of where Charlie has some skills, but also where maybe he's missing some. And now you'll see as I'm hovering over those boxes, it's giving me what those items are that he's missing. Uh, and so I can score from this view as well. And just like in that category view, you'll see here at the bottom, it's auto saving for me. Uh, you'll also notice on this page, we haven't scored anything in the shopping category. So another nice feature of this assessment is you really can just pick out 
the categories that are applicable to your learner. So maybe for Charlie, we've determined that shopping is not high on the priority list. Right now, we really need to focus more on community knowledge or using money. Uh, so you can pick and choose which of these categories you want to assess for your learner. Now, once you have done this assessment, you can generate a report. Uh, inside the assessment platform, you'll have a menu so you can design what goes into your report. But some options you have here are to pull in demographic information. Uh, you can pull in as many different rounds of testing as you want to. With the ABLES and AFLES, let's say that we want to do an assessment now in the spring, and then we're going to reassess when Charlie comes back to school in the fall. We can choose a new color, and that way we can differentiate between the skills that he had in the spring versus the new skills he's learned come the fall. And then you can choose which of those rounds of testing are going to pull into this report. Uh, and then it will break down category by category how Charlie did. So you'll see here is that grid for basic mobility. It's going to show me the skills that Charlie has mastered, as well as the skills that we are considering progressing. And progressing meaning we've colored in at least one box in that particular skill. Now it's going to do that for every category that you've assessed. You also have the ability to uh, make recommendations. So basically recommend what next goals would be for Charlie. And then the last thing that will populate in this report is the grid itself. So if you wanted to share this um, with parents, you can download this, print it out, email it to them. You also can print it, keep it in a file if you need to. Uh, but what I love about an online assessment tool is we're eliminating the need for paper. And it also makes it easy for this assessment to follow Charlie as he moves through different classes. So teachers can uh, continue to have access to Charlie and see the skills that he's learned, but also continue to assess him as we go. Now, once we've completed this assessment, we have a good idea of what kind of goals Charlie might need to work on. Now we need to start collecting data on those goals. So now I'm gonna move into the Lifted platform and Lifted is our data collection and progress monitoring software. Uh, so inside of Lifted, I can go in, enter the goals that we've identified Charlie needs to uh, start practicing. And you'll see here, we're working on getting ready for work and making a phone call. Uh, now, obviously, Charlie is an older learner, and again, he's headed toward transition. So for those of you who might be working with early learners and you're thinking we would never work on goals like that, uh, you certainly could put in academic goals, language goals, social goals, whatever is applicable to your student that you need to track. We also have the ability inside of Lifted to upload your IEP goals for you. So if IEP goals need data tracked on it, we can put that in the software for you and, and take that lift off of your teachers. But for Charlie, when we're ready to actually start tracking data, you'll see here, I've got a getting ready for work task analysis. So I've just outlined what each one of the steps in that process should be. I have a timer here, so I can also time how long it takes Charlie to do this task. And then as he needs to start doing each one of these steps, I'm just clicking on an X if he did that step incorrectly or a check mark if he did it correctly. So it's a very simple process for your staff to use when they're uh, tracking data on a program. So here, if he puts on his uniform and that was correct, um, he had some trouble gathering his work supplies, but he was able to clock in for work and he sanitized the carts. Um, I have the same process here for making a phone call. So I just have some steps that I want Charlie to go through. And as he starts to demonstrate this skill, I'm just marking X's or check marks based on how he responds. Now, inside of Lifted, I can also track some other types of data. Uh, so anything that we want to track as frequency or duration can be monitored on this pop-out screen. And generally, these are uh, probably maladaptive behaviors that you're monitoring, but it also could be things like requesting help um, or even using a coping strategy. So here we have a frequency tracker. Maybe he demonstrated some noncompliance. I can go in and do that. Um, I also can start this timer as he starts to use his coping strategy independently and time how long he does that. And then when I'm done monitoring that, I can close that tab off and come back to the skill tracking page. Now, it's obviously uh, important to take the data, but we also need to progress monitor. So uh, for staff, it's nice that they're not gonna have to graph this data manually. Each time you put in data, that graphing will happen automatically. And then we can come to Charlie's home screen and see all of the programs that we're working on for him. And so here's that making a phone call program. We can see right now he's hanging out at about 58%. Uh, we can see that yesterday was the last date that we had data taken on this program. So we can really make sure that staff are regularly taking that data. And we can even go into a graph from the screen and see exactly what his data does look like. Uh, so you'll see here, he's hovering right around that 63, 64% mark. Now, this data path that you see here is cumulative across all of those steps for making a phone call. But if I wanted to really zero in on each step, I could see he's having a lot of trouble unlocking that phone. 
Uh, but clicking the phone icon seems to be coming along. He's getting really good at clicking on his contact. So I can see each individual step. And then on the graph itself, when you hover over data points, you're able to see the data that was taken that day, as well as the person who took the data and the date and time it was taken. So if you do have multiple staff members working with Charlie, you can always see who took which data point. Now, just like in our assessment platform, we have the ability to generate reports inside of Lifted as well. Uh, so you can go in and choose your date range and how much data you wanna see here, but it will populate Charlie's programs. Again, you can see the graph. In this report, you can also see each individual target's uh, current phase. You can see the date that that target was introduced as well as the date it was mastered and the last date that that data was taken. Um, now this report can also export to a PDF. So if you wanna share this data with parents, you certainly can. It can be downloaded, printed or emailed as you need to. So at this point, we've assessed Charlie. We've got some good goals in place for him. Uh, we've got those goals inside of Lifted and we're actively taking data. Now we wanna talk about a tool for Charlie to use to really help him develop these skills on his own. So what I'm gonna do now is reshare my screen with my iPad uh, and we'll jump into Avail. So Avail is technology specifically for our learners uh, where we can create video models and visual schedules for them. So what you're seeing on the screen is as soon as I've logged into Avail as Charlie, I can see folders of trainings. Now, again, this is an app, so he could open this on his phone or on a tablet. Um, and then I've got different trainings in here for Charlie. So we've really been focusing on this workplace readiness training. So I'm gonna open up that folder and you'll see here, I've got some trainings around making a phone call, which is one of those targets we identified in assessment and we're taking data on inside of Lifted. So for Charlie, when he's ready to practice this skill, he can just tap on the train. Unlock the phone. And you'll see we've got a video here with a talk track on top of it for Charlie to watch. So now instead of an adult needing to be there and prompt Charlie through each one of those steps, he can open up his app. He can watch this training. And then when he's ready, he can move to the next step. Click on the phone. Now for Charlie, we've determined that the, the most appropriate type of media to use right now is a video with a talk track. So we've got lots of prompting going on here. But as Charlie gets more proficient at this skill, we could fade this to just the video or even just the text or just the talk track. And we can start to fade out these prompts maybe to just pictures. Uh, and we can even take data on how that prompting and fading is going. So for Charlie, he's got a way to independently practice these skills. Uh, but as staff members, we have a way to monitor how he's doing with those as well. I'm going to stop sharing this screen and we're going to hop back to our PowerPoint. Uh, so just to kind of recap on what we've been looking at, um, we have talked about the assessment platform, the APLES and APLES assessment online, where you can track students, um, where you can take their data, take their baseline, identify goals. Then we moved into Lifted, where we're able to um, monitor their progress, as well as take data on each of those goals and then into a veil, which allows us to create tools for our students to use. All right, I'm gonna leave this QR code here on the screen for just a minute, just in case you wanna learn more about Central Reach or our products, uh, you can scan that code and well, learn more about us. No, we don't see this code. You have to share screen again. Well, thank you, David. Let me try that one more time. There you go, folks. There uh, it goes. Hey, thank you. Are you all set? I'm all set. Thanks so much. 